Welcome to the Discipline Healing Tips for Patch 4.0.1 Guide. It is currently October 18th, 2010, and so Cataclysm still has a couple months to go before it comes out. However, after having a couple days to play with the new Discipline Talents, I believe these tips should remain useful through to 85, barring any major changes to spell mechanics or enemy damage output. This is a random pug group, by the way, and I have chosen Halls of Reflection to demonstrate because it is the most difficult content to solo heal at this point in time, and because it's very difficult on my server to find people who are still raiding with the release of Cataclysm so near. Most of these tips should work in a raiding environment, although you may spend more time casting Power Word Shield in order to provide a buffer for the other healers to work with. Power Word Shield still remains the first thing you should prioritize for healing. If a target is at full health, it will provide them with a buffer to mitigate incoming damage. If they are missing health, then the weakened soul debuff will give you 10% more chance to crit with your heals, as well as providing you with a little extra time to top them back off. You also get 15% spell haste on your next cast within 5 seconds. Instant or channeled spells will benefit from the borrowed time haste buff without using it up, by the way. For example, if you bubble someone, then use penance, you can still cast one of your three heal spells with the 15% haste. Power Word Shield has not had its mana cost changed either, although we now have a significantly larger mana pool. This means that the talent Rapture will now give you back more mana than Power Word Shield costs in the first place. Similarly, the cooldown on Rapture has been reduced from 12 seconds to 6 seconds, and you can still get multiple procs of Rapture at the same time if multiple bubbles are broken at once. Penance is still our most mana efficient and most powerful healing spell as well, so if a target is missing any significant amount of health, Penance is your next priority after Power Word Shield. Prayer of Mending is slightly more expensive than it used to be, but still very efficient for the cost, especially if you can get it to bounce around. Often it's a good idea to shield, then Prayer of Mending the tank before pulls, as it will provide them with a significant reduction to the large damage usually incurred at the beginning of any pull. Up until this point, the playstyle has thus not changed. Shield, Penance, and Prayer of Mending remain top priority abilities to use. Let's move on to what's different. The big change Discipline has taken is a combination of talents called Evangelism, Archangel, and Atonement. Evangelism is a stacking buff, up to 5, that increases damage on your smite, while reducing its mana cost. Atonement is a talent that will heal any target within 8 yards of the enemy you just smited for 100% of the damage done. Archangel is an ability that will consume any stacks of evangelism you have to return a percent of your total mana, as well as provide you with an increase to your healing done. As it turns out, the healing from Atonement is about as much as casting our new spell simply called Heal, and Smite is actually a faster cast. Coupled with the buffs from Evangelism and Archangel, and Smiting is pretty much your go-to heal for tanks and melee unless they're suffering large amounts of damage. The heal from Atonement can also crit and proc Divine Aegis, so even if the whole party is at full health, it's still a good idea to just smite away to keep your stacks of Evangelism up, and potentially provide nearby allies with a buffer. In fact, I'd pretty much recommend that if at any point you find yourself with a spare 2 seconds, just cast Smite. For healing your ranged members, the heal spell is your go-to heal instead of Smite. Archangel can take a little consideration for when to use it. In the middle of a fight, pretty much any time you have 5 stacks of Evangelism and Archangel is available, you should use it. The extra 15% healing you will gain is significant, as is the mana return. The 15% healing will apply to your shields as well, so even if you think someone's going to take damage in the next 30 seconds, you can pop Archangel and start shielding anybody who's going to take damage. Otherwise, I'd basically recommend using Archangel on cooldown whenever your Evangelism is about to wear off. It's only on a 30 second cooldown, so you can pretty much get away with using it as often as possible. Previously, Flash Heal was the if everything else is on cooldown heal for Discipline. This is no longer the case. In fact, get used to taking Flash Heal out of your regular rotation. It currently costs about the same as Greater Heal, but heals for less. This means it's strictly to be used if you think you just don't have time for a Greater Heal. Flash Heal also doesn't proc anything for talents except for Divine Aegis if it crits, so it's not very useful anymore. If your Shield, Penance, and Prayer of Mending are on cooldown, and the heal from Smite simply isn't going to do the job, swap over to either Greater Heal or Flash Heal depending on how soon you need it. If the majority of incoming damage is on a single target, pop Inner Focus as well. The cooldown on Inner Focus has been reduced to 45 seconds, and it makes your next heal free with an extra 25% chance to crit. 
For group healing, I'd recommend using Inner Focus if it's up, then casting Prayer of Healing, combined with Prayer of Mending. If everyone's only missing minor amounts of health, I'd recommend a mix of Smites and Heals. If it's Pulse AoE, I'd recommend Shields and Prayer of Healing. Renew is still not that great of a spell for Disciplined Priests. It can crit and proc Divine Aegis now, but we don't really get any benefit from spamming it, and it can be quickly draining on mana to keep it up on multiple targets. I'd largely only recommend using it if a ranged ally is missing health, but you need to focus as much attention on the tank as possible. Otherwise use it if you need heals while moving, as it's our only instant cast heal. Rumor around the Priest Forum seems to be that Power Word Barrier isn't quite working properly at the moment, but I haven't seen any official information saying it's bugged. It's a good spell to stack with Power Word Shields on multiple targets, and if you grab the Glyph of Power Word Barrier, it will also increase healing by 10% to anyone standing in it. It's a pretty straightforward spell though. Whenever a group needs shielding, just toss it up on their location. It's primarily useful for the tank melee group. The way the game is currently slated, I wouldn't recommend picking up the Talent Strength of Soul, by the way. Although reducing the duration of Weakened Soul so you can shield more often looks very appealing, you can only do so by casting heal. And, as mentioned, you really won't be casting heal almost at all due to atonement. Train of Thought, on the other hand, I definitely recommend. Every time you smite, you reduce the cooldown on penance by half a second. Train of Thought also makes it so that subsequent greater heals after using Inner Focus will reduce the cooldown by 5 seconds per cast. Basically, the Discipline Healing style really hasn't changed all that much. Power Word Shield, Penance, and Prayer of Mending are still very viable to use and should be up most of the time. We're still not really using Renew or Holy Nova, and the new heal spell isn't very efficient for us at the moment. It's good for ranged allies, but otherwise Smite is much more useful. The major changes are using Smite, Inner Focus, and Greater Heal more often, while using flesh, uh, Flash Heal less often. With Archangel and Rapture taking advantage of our larger mana pools, we're actually more mana efficient than we were before as well. Comments are welcome, so feel free to let me know what you think of this updated guide. Thanks for watching.